Okay, what's going on, people? Welcome to the Ring Roadmap, and today we are back for another pre fire film study. I'm really sorry for the uh, long uploads. Before I was uploading like three days a week, now it's cut down to one. But for this one, it's gonna be Golovkin versus Murata. Go ahead and watch out for my Gabalio versus Denari breakdown, which will come soon, but this is gonna be out first. Now, I'm going to tell you guys today why I personally think that Gennady Golovkin will probably eat Murata for breakfast. There's just too many flaws in there and he makes up for it with amazing durability. I'm not saying that Golovkin will be able to knock him out, guaranteed, but I'm just saying he'll be able to dominate him. So let's go ahead and check this out. So the first thing that we'll see with Murata is that he gets hit on the center a whole lot, okay? So he's really good at blocking those punches from the side and he really has a nice tight guard when it comes to like blocking the shots to the side. But the problem is that he gets hit on the center way too much. So let's look at a couple of clips which will demonstrate that. Now for this, look at how he is easily hit with the jab on this one. He waits around, doesn't really know how to slip the punch, doesn't really know how to close the guard. And so because of that, those punches that are coming down the pipe, it usually lands and you're gonna see more of it as we progress in this video. So here's gonna throw a right hand first, right hand to his opponent, and then he gets caught with a jab, and then there he got caught with another jab which snapped his head back. Again, he gets away with these mistakes because he's extremely durable, just like most Japanese fighters are. And they get away with poor defense because they don't really get hurt all that much. Their chin is pretty tough. And so here, once again, he's gonna use that same setup. So Rob Brandt will first throw a hook and then another hook. And then when the head is turned, he's gonna place the jab in a way that will land on that spot. And so he lands a jab right there on the center. And as you can see, Murata doesn't really have any defensive movements or any defensive mechanisms that he resorts to whenever he gets hit on the center. He doesn't really know how to close his high guard. He doesn't really know how to slip either. And so he gets hit way too much and he doesn't know how to step back as well. Now let's look at how he gets countered after he throws the right hand. So when he throws the right hand, what you're going to see with Murata is that after he throws it right here, he keeps his head on the center. And then not only is he vulnerable to like shots or to counters that come after stepping back, he's also vulnerable to a lot of ankles. So as, so as you can see here, Rob Brand was facing this way and then Murata was facing this way. And so what happens is that his opponent was able to create an angle for himself and he was able to counter him. So staying in the center has a lot of consequences. Not only does it like put you in a dangerous position when you're in front of your opponent, but staying on the center can also make you vulnerable for shifts. It can also make you vulnerable for a lot of angles and you don't want that against Golovkin. So again, here you're gonna see that same thing. He's gonna throw a right hand. He's not gonna step back. His face is much closer now. Nothing really protecting the right side of his face. And he drops his left glove as well. So what Rob Brand was able to do here is he was able to land the right hand and then a jab and then another right hand. Just too many flaws in my opinion that you know convinces me that Golovkin will beat Murata easily. I'm not saying he's gonna knock him out guaranteed because let's be honest, these Japanese fighters are durable as fuck. So let's look at some more here. Again, Murata will come in straight come forward straight, throw the right hand, doesn't bring the guard back in position quick enough, and then he gets caught right there. We're gonna have a lot of clips, man. Here's another one. He's gonna throw another right hand. Here he does bring the guard back, but still, those shots that are coming from the center, it gives him a lot of troubles. And against Golovkin, Golovkin is really good at sneaking shots down the pipe, and it's also good at sneaking shots through your guard. So it doesn't even matter if you have like a solid guard that will protect the shots that are going to the side of your face. Golovkin is able to sneak that in. You can see that whenever he throws his high left hook, his awkward left hook. Some people call it the European type left hook. And you see how it sneaks in through the guard. And I think it's going to give Murata a lot of troubles on fight night. So let's look at some more again. Right hand here, boom. Again, keeping his head on the center. What the, what happens? It puts him in the lat, or it puts him in a path with the right hand of his opponent, which is something that you don't want to do against Golovkin because Golovkin is really good at countering people with the right uppercut or with the short right hand. Right when they when they throw that right hand and they stay on the center, Golovkin takes advantage of that usually by throwing a short right hand or a counter right uppercut, just like how he did against uh, against Canelo in their two fights. So you don't want that to happen. Now let's look at the, the blocking of Murata and why I think this will really give him a lot of trouble. So as you can see with Murata, whenever he blocks a certain punch or whenever he blocks a certain combination, he leans super far on his back foot. 
So you're gonna see it right here. And his leaf foot almost gets off the ground, which is not what you want, right? Because it doesn't put you in a position where you can counter. Now, if you look at the way Golovkin blocks and the way Murata blocks, the way Golovkin blocks is he keeps his feet planted on the ground, which is ideally what you want because it puts you in a position where you can counter efficiently. But for this one, as you can see, he leans all the way back here and then his lead foot kind of lifts or kind of gets lifted off the ground. And it, do it doesn't really put him in the best position to counter him. Okay, he's gonna have to go back, he's gonna have to rock forward back again, or to rock forward again in order to put himself in the position where he can counter here. And then by the time he rocks forward once again, he gets caught with another jab. So as you can see here, he's gonna get caught, boom, lean back, block, too far in the back foot, he tries to go forward again, he gets hit with a jab again, and then he gets hit with a jab again. With the jab again. As you can see with Murata, Murata is pretty much a rocking chair, man. He goes back and forth from the back foot to the front foot, back foot, front foot. Not a lot of lateral movement, not a lot of footwork, and not a lot of uh, not a lot of head movement involved as well. So it's really dangerous against Golovkin. I think he's durable, and that's about it. He has a great power, but he doesn't have enough to withstand the uh, the technicality of Golovkin. So let's look at some more here. Murata will again throw a right hand, stay on the center, and then get hit with a couple of shots right there. Straight shots mostly. Boom, boom, one, two, one, two. And then the way he blocks, like I said a while ago, is that he leans too far back. So he gets hit right here, leans too far back, not really in the best position of, to counter. And then he's forced to reset right there. So what you'll see with Murata is usually he'll wait for his opponent to finish their combination before he gets to counter them. And that's not what you want against Golovkin. If you want to land punches against Golovkin, you have to do it the Canelo way. The Canelo way is that he was able to counter Golovkin in the middle of their exchanges and in the middle of Golovkin's combos because that's the best time to counter Golovkin when he doesn't see it coming, when he's too busy trying to land a punch that he doesn't even think about what you're going to use as a counter against him, which is what Canelo did. And it worked. It worked amazingly for Canelo. So let's look at a couple more here. Again, as you can see here, he blocks and then he leans too far back on his back foot and he doesn't really get to counter from that position too much. No, you have to, you guys have to remember Rob Brand was a high volume puncher and so that's why Murata had a lot of troubles in this fight. I think Rob Brand was able to throw thousands of punches. So a thousand plus punches, I should, I should say. So that really worked in his favor. And I think Golovkin can... He, he won't necessarily throw a thousand punches because he doesn't need to, but he definitely has those spurts, which will give Murata some troubles. So here, what you're going to see, another mistake from Murata is that whenever he blocks, it turns his body on one side. Now, this is good if you are only dealing with a fighter who has a good punch from one hand. So let's say they are right hand dominant or left hand dominant. Well, that can work. However, if you're facing a fighter who has a great left hook, and then a great right hand and then a great uppercut well it's going to be really tough you don't want to turn sidewards against an opponent like that so as you can see here as he blocks the punches of rob brand he turns his body on one side okay and this is dangerous against golovkin because golovkin has a lot of awkward punches that comes from weird angles and you don't want to risk it you don't want to turn your body against a guy like golovkin because number one he has a lot of ways that he can use to land punches from sneaky spots and also, he has the ability to affect your vision and to use his footwork, although he doesn't have a lot of footwork, don't get me wrong, but he does know how to, how to go around his opponent. And that's something that Murata doesn't have, and that's something that Murata has a lot of troubles dealing with. Uh, an opponent who knows how to get around him, he had a lot of troubles with those kind of opponents. And so Murata will have a lot of troubles with Golovkin. If Golovkin doesn't have, or if Golovkin really doesn't, is not that old yet. You know, which we're not exactly sure because we haven't seen him in a while. But that's only that's the only miracle that we'll probably see. If Golovkin comes in on fight night and then his age starts to come in, then maybe Murata has a chance. So let's see some more. He's gonna turn again on these particular blocks. He's gonna block these shots by Rob Brad, and then as you can see, he turns his body sidewards way too much. Again, this is not good because number one, it doesn't put him in a position to counter, and then number two, he's just in a weak spot because he doesn't really see everything. His head is turned sidewards, and so 
there's a lot of shots that may come in which you may not see coming and because he's durable like i said a while ago he gets away with a lot of these things man but against golovkin you can't be this confident with your toughness let's look at another block here murata will again block these shots he's gonna get caught with the right hand and as you can see he leans all the way back and he also turns his body sideways which is not what you want against golovkin Okay, if you look at a guy like Benavides, Benavides leans all the way back as well. But the thing about Benavides is that he stays squared up. Why? Because it puts him in a great position to counter. However, Murata doesn't do that. Instead, he turns his body sideways, and it's a big mistake that that he should he must not do against Golovkin. And so, as a result of turning his body, whenever he tries to block, he gets caught with a lot of these right hands. So for this one, it's going to be straight down the center, and then this second example, you're going to see it on the side. So he's going to block. He's gonna try blocking and then he turns his body like I said gets caught with the right hand here boom So let's look at that once again look at it for yourself Turn his body while he blocks and then he gets caught right there It doesn't really have the footwork and the coordination to step back on time So that adds to the difficulties of um, Ryota Murata So that was it man I think Golovkin will really dominate or not dominate It's gonna be a close fight I would say Because let's be honest Golovkin is getting older it's going to be much closer than we think, but I still think it's going to be a convincing win for Golovkin. I'd probably give it to Murata four rounds max. So it's going to be eight rounds to four at max for Ryota Murata because he, he, is, he is a tough fighter. He has power. The only thing is that he has a lot of technical flaws and he gets away with those technical flaws because he has a good chin. He has a durable body. He has great stamina. However, against Golovkin, it's going to be really dangerous. So um, I can't wait to see this fight. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys soon. Watch out for my next pre fight breakdowns and join my Patreon as well if you want more content. I'm not really forcing anyone to join there, but that's a great way to support the channel to motivate me to make more videos. And that was it, man. Peace out.